Michael Strawn joins the Indianapolis Colts in the 2021 draft. Michael, who are you surrounded by and how exciting was it to get that phone call from general manager Chris Ballard just a little bit ago? You know, first of all, God is just good to me. I'm surrounded. I'm here with my family. They came all the way from the Bahamas for this moment, and we have been patient throughout the whole process. Um, you know, with me getting that call, it was, just, it was such a special moment for me, and you know, it's just, it, it really touched me. You mentioned you grew up in the Bahamas. That's where your family primarily is. And they made a big sacrifice to be sure you got to the States to play high school football, to then have the opportunity to play collegiately. For them to have had to make those sacrifices for you, to then have this moment to share with them. How do you describe that in this journey that your family has made? Um, it's just... You know, it just means the world to, to me, knowing how many sacrifices that they put throughout my whole process. Um, I, I, I couldn't even describe it. You know, it's just God has been good to me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed to even have them as parents, to even have this support base. So I'm, I'm just blessed over, overall. Your dad was the one who introduced you to football. What was his yep. football background and how much did that help you in developing into the player that you've been and that you now are motivated to be in the NFL? Yeah, like I tell people, my dad, in fact, played football for Bethune Cookman under Coach Larry Little in the 80s. Um, you know, so football comes natural for me and I was able to learn it and attain all of that information at such a young age. So, you know, people, you know, when, when it comes up with me, um, you know, come, being from the Bahamas and people think, you know, I'm new to football, I'm actually not knowing, you know, with my dad and his background, where he came from. That's fantastic. Going to a smaller school like Charleston, how beneficial was it to get a program that was so invested in giving you the one-on-one -on -one attention and uh, providing the development that you needed to then have this opportunity in the NFL? You know, my coach, my head coach, Coach Patrick Kirkland, he believed in me from day one. I came in, he worked with me, he developed me. Um, you know, so with me going through this right now and me sitting here today, you know, being being a new Colt, um, it's just it's special to him, it's special for the UC Nation, and I definitely want to represent them in a big way. I want to note a tweet that went out that described you in this draft process because it's pretty exciting. It said, arguably the most intriguing raw talent in this class. 6'5", 228, sprinter caliber wheels, strength, jumping ability. Strong could easily develop into one of the game's formidable alpha wide receivers. To hear that somebody sees that in you in that tweet, how motivating is that for you to prove them right and the type of player that you can be? It's, it's so motivating for me that, you know, to have those fans and, you know, the media thinking those things about me. And, you know, it makes me want to go out there and keep getting better to prove them right. You know, it's something that gives me that jump to know that, you know, I have to be the best and I have to really prove all of them right. You know, especially the ones who believe in me and speaking all, speaking all of those good things about me. Knowing what you know, maybe the experience that you have in any conversations you had with the Colts organization prior to being selected, how do you see yourself being utilized? We know Frank Reich is a very creative offensive play caller. Well, I, I could really see them using me, especially in the red zone, with me having a big six foot five frame and with my combination of speed and strength. You know, they could use me in so many different ways. They could put me on the outside, they could move me on the in, inside, shift me around the field, and you know, they could use me as, as a big target, especially, you know, with the tools I'm bringing to the organization. I could see them using me and co the, coaching, the coaching staff in so many different ways. Well, we can't wait to see your playmaking ability when you get here, whether that's rookie mini camp or training camp, whenever we're able to see you here at the Colts facility. Congratulations. Hug your family. Enjoy this time celebrating with them. Will do. I appreciate you. Thank you.